Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Gun. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate that. Today I want to talk to you about why dry fire training is so important and how you can improve your shooting skills. If you're not dry fire training, you should be. If you don't know what it is, dry fire training is practicing without the use of live ammunition. These snap caps or dummy rounds, they're 100% safe. They don't fire, they don't make any noise. Even though these are not live rounds, you should still treat the gun as if it's loaded, keep it pointed in a safe direction, etc. Also, when you dry fire training, you shouldn't have any live ammunition anywhere near you. All the competitive shooters dry fire train. Okay? It's essential for maintaining your skills, especially for a new shooter. As a new shooter, you should, before you even go to the range, you should practice loading and unloading your magazines. You should practice loading and unloading your firearm so that when you go to the range, you don't make a dumbass out of yourself. The reason that dry fire training will help you improve your shooting skills is because you need to develop muscle memory. And the only way to develop muscle memory is practice, practice, practice. Just like an athlete or a musician, the only way they can keep their skills sharp is through practice and repetition. So it's the same thing. Shooting is a perishable skill, and if you don't practice long enough, you're going to lose your skills. But I guarantee you, if you dry fire practice two days a week, 15 minutes, the next time you go to the range, you're going to see a remarkable improvement. The reason for that is all of the basic fundamentals that make you the good shooter have to come second nature. They have to be like reflexes, starting with your grip. Okay, your breathing, your trigger pull and follow through, sight alignment and sight picture. Those are the things that you have to have developed to the point where it just comes naturally. If you only shoot at the range once a month or a couple times a year, you're not going to develop those skills. Okay, you're going to go to the range and you're just going to shoot. And most people that go to the range, to be honest with you, they don't learn anything and they don't practice anything other than pulling the trigger so that they can shoot as much as they can to get their money's worth in an hour. Well, when you practice at home twice a week for 15 minutes, you're going to notice when you go to the range, all those little things are going to just become second nature. That's where you learn to shoot. That's where your shooting skills improve, okay? Now, this is not a substitute for live fire. It's a supplement. You still need live fire because you need to practice recoil management. And some people will argue that, well, dry fire training is no good because you don't get the recoil. And that is not true. When you dry fire train, everything until you pull that trigger are basic fundamentals, okay? You don't get that recoil until you pull the trigger. But at that point, you've already practiced everything you can to make sure that your skills are sharp. You don't need the recoil to practice your basic skills. Ammunition may be expensive, may not have availability. When you dry fire train for $10 for a pack of these snap caps, you could train anytime you want. You practice your grip, your hold. Practice shooting with one hand. Practice your strong side and your weak side. I never see anybody at the range practice shooting on their weak side. There's so many things you can do when you dry fire train at home that you can't do at a range, such as drawing and firing from a holster. Right? A lot of ranges don't let you do that. Moving side to side, forward, backward, shooting from one knee. You can practice shooting from around a corner inside your home somewhere, shooting behind cover. You can practice shooting in lighting situations, low light situations, and no light situations. You can practice cross draw. 
there are just so many things that you can practice at home. And learning at the range is difficult for a new shooter. There's a lot going on there. You got the noise, you got the recoil, you got the smell of gunpowder. It's really not that good of a place to actually learn. So you'll learn from your dry fire training. I guarantee you, if you practice twice a week for 15 minutes, you'll improve your shooting skills. So now let's take a look at the snap caps and what you can do with them. Now I've evaluated almost every snap cap on the market. And in my opinion, the Azoom snap caps are by far the best you can get. They're CNC machined. And if you look at the cheap plastic ones from China, you can see the difference is that these are all aluminum. They're not going to break. This tip is plastic. So over time, they're going to start cracking and you're going to get your firearm all boogered up. So save yourself the trouble when you do get snap caps and go with a zoom. They're available in over 100 calibers. These are 9 millimeter. I have them for my 357 Magnum revolver. I have them for my AR-15 in 223. And I have them for my shotgun. The other nice thing about this is that they are precisely machined to be the exact dimensions of rail ammunition. And because they're aluminum instead of plastic, they have some decent weight to it. So it feels like real ammunition. So if you're a new gun owner, the first thing you should do is get your snap caps and practice loading and unloading your magazine. Do that a few times. And this is a great way to get familiar with your firearm before you make a dumbass out of yourself at the range. Next thing you want to do is you want to practice loading and unloading your firearm. So put in the magazine. Okay. You have one in the chamber. Now practice unloading the magazine. Drop the magazine. Rack the slide. And it'll eject. This is a great way to train. It really is, especially uh, for the fact that it looks and feels like rail ammunition. Also, the back of this firing pin is rubber. Okay, This basically will give you unlimited shooting without any damage to your firearm. Another good technique to use with this is before you go to the range, randomly take a snap cap and throw them in between live rounds and do it at home before you get to the range so that when you get to the range, you won't remember where it is. Okay? When you get to the range and you hear click, you could practice the tap and rack. All right, that's just a great thing to do. Another thing about the snap caps, again, is that they're safe. You could practice it anywhere. And like I said earlier, in my opinion, the best training you do is dry fire training at home. That's where you develop your skills. All you're doing at the range is putting holes in pieces of paper. I hope this has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.